back to another episode of Mad Trippin'. It is Wednesday, August 31st, 2022, 3 o'clock p.m., and it is 105 degrees. And we're going into Target today as a special request to look at a Halloween item that somebody wanted to know more about. Are you ready? Let's start tripping. I did not notice this last time. This is pretty cool. They have some pet items available. Cat scratcher there. Cat scratcher there. 15 and 20 dollars. It's not bad. Good prices on that. And some chew toys from Bark. Oh, they even have dog treats now that are Halloween themed. Even some Halloween costumes for your pet. I like the name they use, Hide and Eek. It looks like they're clearing out the shelves. Yes, they are. They're getting the shelves ready for the candies and stuff. I already got some bags going out. Oh, here we go. I love when they do stuff like this Halloween themed cereals, frosted flakes, corn with chocolate, Fruit Loops with spooky marshmallows, Apple Jacks with spooky marshmallows. <gasps> Hocus Pocus 2 with the Berry Brew. I love when they do stuff like that, when they theme that for Halloween or Christmas or whatever the holiday is. I like that. So the shelves are empty right now, but you can tell they are definitely starting to put out the Halloween candy. These aisles will be filled, I'm sure. They are empty now, but it is coming. Looks like we got some more stuff put up over here. We'll check. I'll see. This is what I like. Look. I was doing the soda cans. You can do a little lot of bottles of water. Hopefully there, this one has a spider to it. I love when they do stuff like that with their products, especially if you're filling up those type of uh, grab bags. I call them mad bags. Here's the kind of bags that we use. I use the little bigger ones. I used to put DVDs on them because I could get them for two or $3 a piece, little Halloween DVDs. So I'd have to get the bags big enough to fit the DVD inside there and then just fill it with a bunch of, you know, pencils, erasers, Little skeletons, stuff kids would like. Here's some baking goods. Oh, a coffin pan for bread, $7.99. I'm gonna have to get that. <laughs> I wasn't planning on coming and spending any money, but now, now I'm gonna have to. Ooh, we got some spooky Oreos, goldfish. I like them when they come in individual packets so I can put them in each individual grab bag. So hopefully these chips, I don't see any designs on the actual bags that say Halloween and I'd rather get the kind that you know, where everything is themed, right? So we got some gel clings. They're starting to put the stuff out, pumpkin carving kits. Like that eyeball in the mouth there. I never really understood these. You just put them on the pumpkin. I'd rather carve the pumpkin. The designs are neat, the artwork is beautiful. That Cinderella one right there, the carriage, that's pretty cool it makes your pumpkin look like the right the pumpkin carriage that she was in so out of all of them that one's the most clever i think because she rode in a pumpkin the minion ones is they're all cute hocus pocus yeah, the artwork and everything on them's cute i just like to carve the pumpkin out myself little ouija board serving tray that's cool looks like here's where they're going to put out their dollar items so right now they just have stickers little bags out i am gonna have to come back and go shopping i'd love to do i usually do about well 40 to 50 bags but since some of my nephews and nieces aren't here this year uh, I will probably just do 30 for the neighborhood kids. Ooh, I like that cookie jar trick or treat. It's a nice tablecloth, napkins. I like these serving trays. They went out on, oh, this one's almost better than the Ouija board just because of the coloring and it. it really pops out. Plates, I'll definitely have to get, oh, I like this for the, for the towel. I mean, if you're gonna decorate, decorate, right? There's an orange one back there, it's the same. Oh, you get two towels, yeah, two towels. One's got the stripes, one's got the cat on it. Plates and napkins, I'm all for that kind of stuff. Cold jar. Okay, they're getting ready to start putting out the lighting. So they got some orange and purples, some even rope lights. Light up yard stakes. All are welcome in Halloween Town, I love that sign. Gold cat in a gold skull. Now I gotta see if I can find the skeleton on the 
bike, I think is what they were looking for. And I think I just saw it over here. Oh, they have that dog out. I love that dog. I might have to buy the dog. So I believe they wanted the one on the bike, but we'll do the teeter-totter one first here, just in case. That is great. Love these. Oh, I love plug-in pumpkins. They last longer. You gotta kinda keep them in the shade though. If you left them out in the full sun for a month, this Arizona sun would tear them up. So you gotta kinda have them shaded. Anything plastic, the Arizona sun is just gonna tear up. So per request, we're gonna do the bike one here. I like it because the uh, not only is he pedaling, but the pumpkins light up. Let's see, does this headlight? Yep, little headlight in the front lights up. See, detail people, details what makes a product sell. Let's see, did we, I think we did this one too. If I can find the button. It's around here. There it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now this is the one I showed you. I already have this one. Now these are solid. They hang in the front door. That's heavy. So you're thinking $15 is kind of a lot, but you know, the eye opens up, it looks around, it makes a noise. This is the one I like though. I love that digital eyes. I wish they would do more digital. I'm assuming that's coming in the coming years here. What we do this one just lights up. Buttons are not on that one. Now this is one of my favorites this year right here. And these are Hyde and Eek. I love the name they came up for them. That's a loud. And it's not him doing it, it's this one back here. I'm filming the wrong one. <laughs> His button was the closest. Oh, and the head moves. I like it, I like it. This is one of my favorite items. Here last year, I think this one's a little bit different. Colors are definitely different. Let's just try me. Hello, you have reached us after hours, and we're out trick or treating. Please try back again tomorrow if you dare. <laughs> I love that things that are interactive. Try me button somewhere. Oh, there it is. Wheel of Fate. That is cool. Let's see if this little pumpkin head up there lights up when it stops. It does. Look at that. More lights, the better. Don't wander too far. Whoa. This is a plastic, so it's not glass. This one's battery still going, so it needs a battery replacement. So they haven't added much else. I do like this for $15. If I had a smaller trunk tree, that would be perfect, especially if the eyes lit up. I love that snake. $15, that's not bad. The skeleton there. We already saw and this loyal dog. I like this dog here. I don't know how much dogs are. Let's see if it says it on the bottom. It does not. And I'll definitely need to buy some more 
gravestones this year. $20 for these ghosts. I don't think I saw this the last time I was here. So some yard stake ghosts. I like this one because it comes with, it's also 20, has two foam gravestones plus the skeleton. It looks like you can make it look like it's coming out of the ground. Okay, so we already went through all the costumes and stuff like that. They're definitely starting to put up more costumes on the back wall here. Ooh, some Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't think I saw that the last time, so we'll take a look. Got a gorilla costume down there, some chicken. And they're getting ready to start putting up their uh, blow-up items. Light-up items. Very cool. I'll have to come back, take a look. I did not see this here the last time, Nightmare Before Christmas. I dig it. So you have a Jack, Sally costume, Lock, Shock, and Barrel Max. This looks like a different costume than this one. And you have zero. Very cool. That's a pretty good Sally costume right there and pretty good Jack costume, I'm impressed. I already showed you the Harry Potter stuff. The costumes look like they just flooded them in there. Looks like they're putting them all out now. Makeup still looks like it's a little bit fuller. So as the shipments start coming in, <gasps> Star Wars, my absolute favorite. Now this is cool. So Mandalorian, Darth Vader, popular stormtrooper. But look at this Grogu shoulder sitter. He sits on your shoulder. Oh, he's got <laughs> Mandalorian necklace on. Oh, that is too great. So there's a Grogu shoulder sitter. Adult, one size fits most, not all anymore. They don't do the one size fits all routine. All right, that's it. I gotta go look at Star Wars toys, see if they got anything new in. And on the end cap here, they have some uh, Legos out. I love these Harry Potter ones here because it's a book when it closes up and it opens up into a play set. And I have four of them. I just don't know if these are the four, if they released a new one. It doesn't seem like I have this one with uh, Professor Moody yet. I'm pretty sure I have this one, so I must have all. This must be the same four. They just re-released them or something. But we are looking for Star Wars now. Oh, I have the Friends Central Perk. Is that what that one is? It is. Seinfeld Apartment. Nice. I think they did the Friends Apartment. Yeah, there it is right there. Oh, I'd love to get that one. That's going to be next on my list. $149.99. Worth it both apartments, uh, Chandler and Joey's, Monica and Rachel's, all the characters. I love it. Love Legos. <laughs> back to the future. Oh, I meant to go check this out. I'm gonna have to do it. Is this where they're putting them? They usually had them back by the, uh, the movies. I forgot to check that out last time. Yeah, these gremlins, that's where I got my Ash vs. Evil Dead and the Scream character in these type of boxes. My Halloween decor. Looks like they moved them over here. Gremlins. Gremlins 2. Let's open it up and see. It's not bad. They had them in the 3 and 3 4, so I'd collect them more. I'm just getting a couple of the bigger ones for Halloween for. I would love these in 3 and 3 4 inch. Look at that. That's a good dock there. And Biff. But I'd love to get them. Uh, I just get them in this size. I just get them in this size for my DVD collection, put up there with the Halloween movies. They did get some more Star Wars in because Anakin wasn't here the last time. I don't know if I want to get them because I have a couple different Anakins. I really don't. Oh no, we'll be putting that back. Oh, Mandalorian, I'm gonna have to get it. Put back what you dropped. Don't make a mess for the employees. They have to clean up after you. Oh, which one did I get yesterday? Costco, right? Lando, Lando, Riva, Obi-Wan, is that retro? I don't like when they do the retro. Tosca, 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 Riva, Riva, Tosca, 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 Tosca. So let's look on the back here and see which one I was looking for. Din Djarin I was looking for. Which one did I get? The Mandalorian Super Commander, that's the one I just got. I have Anakin and Obi-Wan and then Boba Fett. I got enough Boba Fett's. Of course, that's his newer armor from the Boba Fett, Book of Boba Fett TV show. It's not the one I'm looking for, Costco. There was another, 
Oh, Bo-Katan. Yeah, we're looking for Bo-Katan. I think I have the Marathon, Co how do you say his name, Quill? Now Target always has a good selection of Pokemon cards. They go fast though. So when you see them stocked, you got to get them. But my nephew's coming over for the weekend. So he likes Pokemon. Let's see what they got. And as you can see, as fast as they get them in, that's as fast as they go out. So all the single packs, which everybody's looking for right now are gone. Some type of Pokemon Academy game. No individual packs, which is what they're looking for right now. So that'll save me some money today.